Hello everyone, welcome. I am JCIP and you are watching Kalaka.in. Let us talk about 3D printers. This time it is the Cosel from Anycubic. I already own another 3D printer from Anycubic, the i3 Mega. It is one of the best 3D printers. I can just set it to print and forget about it. But will this Cosel live up to the expectations? Let us find out. Here are the 5 main points that I think a 3D printer should tick if it has to be really good one. The build quality, calibration, software, upgradability, accessories. Cosel is built with this aluminum extrusion. Each of this aluminum extrusion fits into this injection molded parts and then it is just secured with the nut and allen screws. So that's a good thing. It gives a good stability to the machine. By the way, this machine comes in a kit and you have to assemble it piece by piece. This took me about a day to get it done, but for the final build quality, I will give it a tick. The second is calibration. Call me spoiled, but I just want a printer that once you assemble it, you should start printing it then and there. In Cosel, that was not the case. Perhaps this is the step that took most of my time. So here is something that I had to do to get this calibrated. Once I update the firmware, I had to move the Z axis all the way to the bottom and then count each steps and then feed that back into the firmware into the machine and only then it was done. Now this is totally not acceptable for me so I will give a cross mark in the calibration department. The software that is being used here is Marlin and by just turning the knob you will be able to scroll through the menu. Because we have already started by flashing a new firmware, if we ever need an upgrade then we are already trained. So that is a good point that it has standard software, I would just say it is nothing special or nothing too bad so I will give it a neutral over here. The fourth point is upgradability. This printer comes with a standard hot end and it is powered by this Bowden extruder. I have seen some modifications where you can load the filament on top of the printer and if you use a direct drive then it would be an awesome setup. But because of the way the hot end is set here, I think it would be mighty difficult. The second is the bed plate. Hmm. This is not a heated bed plate. Anycubic gives this special sticker that you can actually put on this plate and the parts stick very well to it. But unlike the i3 Mega where the part just pops off after cooling, here it is very difficult to remove it. You can replace it with a heated bed though, but with all these restrictions in changing the extruder and not many options for the heated bed here, I would just give a cross mark here again. And finally the accessories, the printer comes with a 1 kg black PLA spool, some tools and a wire snipper, but no scraper. So standard accessories and I would give a green for this as well. So what do we have here? Good in build quality, software is just okay and standard accessories. I would say not bad for a 3D printer that costs under $200, but is it for everyone? No, because for a little more money you could get a good one like the Anycubic i3 Mega. That printer gives me 100% results every time. So who can buy the Cosel? People who are not new to 3D printing, who know what they are doing and for people who want really tall prints. Because at 300 mm height, I feel that this is one of those printers that can give you the ability at less than $200. So if you are that guy and you need this printer, then I have Gearbest coupon codes in the description. I have also added some coupon codes of alternate missions which I think are awesome. Please do check them out. As always, whenever I review, I want to make sure it is useful for you and me. So if you think that I have given my honest opinion, then please click on the like button. If you think I have missed something or you have any suggestions or plainly just don't like this video at all, then put them in the comments. I would like to know your suggestions and understand them. I usually read all the comments and take time to reply it. So it would be really useful to know each other. Kindly Subscribe to the channel for other project videos. Follow me on Instagram at kalaka.in to see what I am working on right now. Thank you for watching. I am JCRP and you have been watching kalaka.in. Until next time, happy learning.